Hello and welcome back to Lorefet Gaming Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1. I'm your host Lord Fenton. In this Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 build guide, we're doing the Scoundrel and Jedi Guardian Light Side Edition. As always, like, comment, and subscribe my channel for more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1 builds like this. Do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated and much more. Here are the pros and cons of this build before we do go on. First of all, sneak attack. You're going to be very powerful with that. Number one. Number two, Jedi jump. Yeah, that is very powerful. Number three, you're going to be dual wielding. That's more DPS. Number four, you're going to be saving credits on some of the armor and such you uh, definitely want. And number five, light side force powers to crowd control. So you can do sneak attack damage. Now, cons of this video, you're not going to sneak attack greatly like a scoundrel. Uh, number two... Yeah, you can have less feats than a soldier slash, I should say, Jedi Guardian. And number three, you can have less force powers than a scoundrel slash Jedi Consul. We're going to go ahead and first of all start talk about the sneak attack uh, mechanics in the game. Before I do start this, I'm using Baldur's Gate 3 characters and the absolute sign from that game as well as a demonstration. So here's the deal. If you're facing your opponent and your opponents are facing you, you're not doing sneak attack damage. You're doing normal damage. In other words, yeah, you're a target, basically. So you definitely do not want to be frontal combat at all. Instead, you want to be this. Okay, everyone, it is about positioning, I said before. So we put a stare on the back this time. Now the absolute targets look at Gal like prime Jawa meat. Well, guess what? You're going to do sneak attack damage. You're attacking your foes from behind without any of them being stunned at all. So you got to get behind your foes. You're going to be doing that at the start of the game quite a bit. So let's talk about stuns. Yeah, that works with sneak attack as well. This is the most important lesson, everyone. This builds based on four stuns. Also, stuns too, like stun grenades as well, plus critical hit too. So if you use critical hit, stun grenades, or four stuns, for instance, like for example, crowd control ones, your foe gets stunned, you could be in any position to do sneak attack damage. That's right, front, side, back, you name it. Sneak attack all the way. And that's about it for sneak attack in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1. So let's go with next character creation. A few things I'm going to go over. This is really important. So, uh, number one, you're going to be playing a scoundrel. That means, once again, you got to learn how to sneak attack. That's very important. You have Karth. He's good for uh, being your meat shield. And eventually, you get other characters throughout the uh, game until you get to uh, level 7 being done. So, yeah, we're going to do scoundrel level 7. Number two, this is a light side playthrough. So, you got to be an all-around good guy or good gal. Yeah, don't be evil at all. Don't be a dick. That's for the dark side. And that's for another video. Unless that video is out, then go to that video for a dark side version of that. Uh, so, uh, uh, one more thing. You're going to need concussion grenades. A lot of those early on. They'll help you out in tough battles, especially against rack ghouls and a certain bounty hunter in a final match. So, let's go over attributes. Now, uh, for this build, this attributes, it's uh, very poor. Our main uh, attribute is going to be strength. We're going to get that up to 19. We'll definitely even that out with force powers and items and also if you want to stems you heard that right stems as well they'll up your strength dexterity we're going to keep at 14 so this way we can hit things you heard that right hit also increase our defense rating as well we're going to need that early on even though the scoundrel class will uh, definitely give you a boost in defense now another thing we're gonna definitely uh, go ahead and do is constitution 12 that'll be your hit points we'll keep it at that now it's gonna be a little bit important once we get to the jedi guardian class We'll get a little more hit points out of the other two Jedi classes. Now, intelligence, I'll say keep at 10. Now, here's the deal. If you want to really repair HK-47 in a light side playthrough, switch Constitution Intelligence out. So this way you get more uh, bonuses, of course, with, uh, you guessed it, repair. Now, Wisdom, we keep at 14 as uh, used for uh, resistance and also uh, Jedi Force saving powers and such, which also uh, increase our... Uh, Certain things with certain force powers as well. As for uh, Charisma, now uh, we keep that 14 as uh, well. This is also makes us a more persuasive talker. And it's related to uh, force related feats and powers, which is very important. So we'll uh, definitely uh, keep that up there. So everything 14 except for Constitution, which at 12 and Intelligence at 10. 
Now uh, for uh, skills, we're going to go ahead and focus on persuade. That's going to be our bread and butter for this game. You're asking, why is that Fenton? Well, simple as that. We're going to talk our way through many things that will help us out, be beneficial to people. Now, repair, we're going to keep at two for now and then save the rest. Now, if you don't want to do repair, another uh, good thing is treat injury. So if you don't want to repair HK-47 at all, well, go for treat injury. That's the uh, second best skill you to do. Or better yet, save your points until you're actually, you guessed it, uh, Jedi Guardian, which will be, you guessed it, not a cross-class skill. So that's why we're going to go ahead and uh, do those two. So persuade and repair. Remember that. And uh, let's get to the next one. Now, for feats, unfortunately, the scoundrel class, their feet starved. Yep, you heard that right. Feet starved. So, you're a panic, don't at all. So, let's go over a few things I want to go over. Let's see here. Where is it at? Sneak attack one gives you one to six damage bonus if we're behind a foe or if they're stunned. Scoundrel gives us some defense. So, what we're going to go ahead and pick right away is two weapon fighting. Why are we doing that? We're going to do that early on so this way we could do a wield very early on and then do a lot of damage that way so we'll start out with that we're going to be feet start for quite a bit for the scoundrel class until we get to the jedi guardian class then our situation will be much more uh, better in that department now uh final character creation advices i'm going to go ahead and say this focus on persuade that's your number one skill if not well focus on treat injury but still persuades number one Number uh, two, you're going to be used to using concussion grenades or going to position, so this way you stun your foes. And you're only leveling up to seven, so once you get to level seven on a character, stop right there. So let's go on to leveling up. Now we're going to go ahead and start leveling up our scoundrel from two to seven. We're going to focus on that. Get used to sneak attacking foes from behind, or if they're stunned, you guessed it, sneak attack them. We'll do persuade, that's going to be the main skill. We're going to talk our way through many things in the game. This game's designed for that. Now, uh, if you've been saving points for treat injury, that's fine. So we're getting our feet at level two. We'll be a little bit feet starved, so don't worry. So we could do toughness if we want to. We could add our melee damage. I prefer implant level one, so this way we could equip some of the early on implants that'll help us out starting out on the first plan of the game. Yeah, we'll max that out to three. So let's uh, keep on uh, going. Now we're at scoundrel level three, everyone. You guessed it. So we'll definitely uh, make sure we level that up. So let's uh, go ahead and select uh, which uh, skills and such we need. I'm sorry, no feats again. Scoundrel class is uh, feet starved a bit. Persuade, put points in persuade and uh, points in repair. If you're doing the uh, HK repair route, you should have intelligence 12 instead of 10, but still. You'll uh, get uh, by one point, so there you go. We got it all done. And uh, there, so we have ourselves another uh, feat, which is, uh, you guessed it, sneak attack 2. Instead of 1 through 6 for a bonus damage, on when we do sneak attacks, we do 2 to 12. That's good with dual wielding. That'll help out greatly later on, so let's uh, keep on going, shall we? Now we're at level 4, so every level of 4 in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1, we get ourselves an attribute point. That's very important. We're going to focus that on strength, so it'll be at 19, but... Other uh, force powers, items, and stems will get that evened out big time. So we're going to go ahead and do persuade since we're going to talk our way through danger. Yeah, persuade is not, you guessed it, a, a cross-class skill. It's a class skill, which is uh, great. So let's go on to level 5. Now, you guessed it, we're at level 5. We're getting closer to what I call the scoundrel soft cap, level 7. So let's uh, level up. So let's get our skills. I'm going to do is persuade there you go and repair that should be fine if you're not doing repair save your points for treat injury let's go to feet we got sneak attack three. Ooh, we get another one of those so our sneak attacks now is three to 18 that means yeah we'll do more sneak attack damage if we're stunning foes or attacking them from behind where the dps so we're doing improved two weapon fighting now the uh, first one give you minus four four offhand Unless it's uh, balanced, then of course it's much more better. Now this one will give you much more, uh, less penalty, more likely to do more hits with that, which is uh, good. Yeah, I'm just going to try to uh, get over there. Yeah, see, there it is to hit. Now instead of like a minus, it's a plus, which is a great thing. So let's keep on going leveling up. Now we're at scoundrel level six. We're getting closer to the soft cap, I call it. In other words, you stop leveling. Anyways, uh, let's uh, go ahead and start that up at this very time. Skills, picks persuade. If you're doing repair path, you're cross-class, you got the weight. 
If not, store your points. So Persuade's going to be the only one you're going to really uh, focus on big time. That's very important. There you go. We get Improved Scoundrel's Luck. Yeah, I did that again. I got to get rid of that. So Improved Scoundrel Luck basically ups your defense. So instead of two, now we get four. This will be activated in certain situations. You know when you see it, which is uh, very uh, good. Now we're at Scoundrel level 7. Now, please note, this is the last time you level up. After you get to level 7, you see the level up thing on the first planet. Do not touch it at all. That's right. You want to be at 7 because there's a feat where we're going to go ahead and grab automatically. That's why it's important for this uh, build. So, uh, once again, don't level up after this uh, level. So, let's talk about level 7. So, there we go. For our skills, we're going to pick Persuade. If you're doing the HK-47 route, go for Repair. If not, store your points into uh, Treat Injury when you're a Jedi Guardian. That's right, folks. Jedi Guardian when we get there. There you go. Sneak Attack 4. That's what we get automatically. So, let's uh, talk about that. So, our Sneak Attack now will be 4 to 24 damage. Which is uh, great. You're going to need that later on for the Jedi Guardian part. So, let's talk about that. Because we store our levels, I should say, we have two level ups right away. So we're going to go ahead and start out with Jedi Guardian level 1. That's character level number 8. So we're done with the Scoundrel class permanently. Remember, every level is a 4. We're going to put our points in their strength. Strength is going to be our main, I think, build. You'll be, I say, odd, but other factors will uh, make sure you have it even. You'll see at the course of this build video... So let's do Persuade. We're going to focus that. And now, Treat Injury, that was a cross-class skill when your Scoundrel is now a class skill. So uh, that's why you uh, store your points if you're not going to do the repair route. Now we'll be able to use lightsabers. That's good. So uh, another thing is, is uh, we get benefits as uh, being a Jedi. Jedi Defense, we get our defense up there. So that's like a plus two, which is uh, good. We also get Force Jump as well, which uh, grants us, you uh, guessed it, bonus attacks so that'll help us out greatly when we jump attack when we jump uh, attack foes from behind sneak attack will come into play and that's it some people want to do is uh do weapon focused lightsaber i prefer to uh do it to master two weapon fighting so uh this way if we use a balanced weapon on one hand and a main weapon on the other hand we don't get penalized much now if we're using short lightsabers yeah we'll get a double bonus in uh in other words, we won't, won't, our hit won't be damaged much. But we'll have high hit anyway, thanks to being a Jedi Guardian. As for Force Powers, we're going to do is Cure. That's very important. So we heal ourselves and Stun. We'll use that to stun one enemy. So this way, we can start doing our sneak attacks against them. So Heal, we're going to definitely use on Dantooine to uh, survive. And we'll use the Stun to stun certain enemies if they're uh, getting tough. Remember, they could resist that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you right now uh, what happens with sneak attack. So there, I'm going to go ahead and equip some uh, weapons. There you go. And now we got plus uh, nine in the main hand. On the off hand, we got plus eight. That's the hit, by the way. So now we're level up again. Uh, Jedi Guardian level two. That's character. You uh, guessed it, level nine. We're going to just go ahead and just say uh, Jedi Guardian uh, level numbers. Persuade, put your points into that. I'm doing repair since I'm tempted to repair HK-47 at least. And uh, there you go. Uh, if you don't want to do repair, put it into uh, treat uh, wounds or treat injury, I should say. We're going to do four speed. This will uh, do us, makes us go very fast. Uh, double our uh, movement speed, give us plus two de defense later on. It'll do other things as well. We're going to max that out, that sucker. Just trust me, you want that maxed out if you uh, can. We're going to max, max out stun too. So uh, keep that in mind. And uh, that should uh, definitely do it. So we're next up level up once again. After a while being on Dantooine, we're going to go ahead and level up. You guessed it to Jedi Guardian level 3. You heard that right. As long as we're still doing good things, helping others, we'll benefit on the light side. That's what this uh, build's focusing on. Dark side, I have another video coming soon, or unless it's already out. So what we'll do is persuade. That's important. So if you're doing treat injury, go ahead and put points into that if you can. So we get ourselves a feat to pick since we have two weapon fighting max out. We're going to go ahead and start maxing out on our lightsaber feats. Yeah, we're going to max that out big time. So we're going to add plus one attack bonus with lightsabers. We're going to be dual wielding lightsabers. This will also work if you're using a Darth Maul style. That's a double bladed lightsaber. 
just like in the movies. So we're going to go ahead and pick Force Valor. That's going to give us uh, two ability points, if I remember right, which is good. Later on, you get immunity to poison and other uh, factors as well. I think you can also get other benefits too. So we're going to max out Force Valor big time. It's a light side power, but it's be beneficial to us big time. So let's keep on uh, going. Now we're uh, still on the path of the Jedi Guardian. From this point on, we're at the second half of leveling up to 20. Yeah, 20 is the cap in this uh, game. KOTOR 2 is 50. That'll be for another time. So we're going to put points in Persuade. Repair if you're going for HK-47. Or Treat Injury if you're not. So Persuade's number one. Ask for Force Powers. Once again, sorry, no feats. What we're going to go ahead and uh, do is, uh, let's see here, I'm trying to, yeah, there we go. We're going to start, start doing our stun droid line. So this way we can also start crowd controlling droids. If we could stun them, we could attempt to try sneak attack them. If not, at least uh, we'll hold them still. Uh, that's about it. Let's level up more. Now we're at Jedi Guardian level 5. So we're just going to keep on leveling up our character. Uh, at this time, you're going to start to using crowd control. You start kicking some butt. Again, levels of four, we're going to do strength, so put all points in the strength. So uh, there, as for skills, what we're going to do is persuade. There you have it. And if you're doing uh, repair, that's fine. If not, treat injuries a good path to uh, as a substitute. As for force powers, I'm going to go ahead and uh, focus on crowd control, which is stasis. So we'll hold our opponent longer. It's a single target crowd control, but that's really useful. And uh, later on, we'll uh, definitely rush to uh, get the uh, stasis field, the last one, which is everyone gets uh, held. So we'll uh, stop there, and there you have it. Now we're uh, leveling up, you uh, guessed it, to Jedi Guardian level 6. So our DPS is starting to go up there. We're learning crowd control. We're getting through the story real quick with our party. And you're the star DPS of the team. Persuade, repair if you're doing HK-47. If not, treat injury. Feats, improved force jump, so we get a little more damage in that, and night senses. So, uh, improved force jump, we get a plus two to hit, which is nice, and uh, night senses, plus four defenses, which is good. It's always active. And uh, let's see here, where is it at? I'm trying to find it. There you go, uh, weapon uh, specialization lightsaber, so now we get plus two bonus damage with lightsabers. We're going to do a little dose, so our damage on those will be up there. Now for powers, I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, this, let's see here. I feel Night Valor, so uh, this way we'll get ourselves uh, three points in our attributes boosted up. And it's very powerful. Now we're about to even Steven the Jedi Guardian and Scoundrel levels. So as the uh, good news. Other good news is we're becoming more powerful than ever. So for skills, we're doing Persuade. That's going to be our main focus. If you're not doing a repair line, you could try to do Treat Injury as your secondary skill. Yeah, we're a little bit skill starved with the Jedi Guardian, but that's all right. So since we got our lightsabers, two weapon fighting done, we're going to go ahead and focus on implants. Why is that? Well, we get Dexterity implants. That will definitely uh, boost our Dexterity to 19. Then other factors will even things out. You have two choices. You could start doing the second droid line or Night Speed. Uh, it depends. If you're uh, lacking crowd control proudness, then uh, yeah, that's the way to go is night speed to help you out. If you know how to crowd control your enemies like crazy, you can hold off on that. Instead, do night speed, uh, which by the way, that'll give you, of course, defense, uh, more speed, and chance to hit as well, I think, at that time. Now we're at, uh, guess it, character level 15 that is Jedi Guardian level 8. So we're now going to suppress our uh, scoundrel levels. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that. So let's do skill. There you go. Persuade. If you can do repair, that's fine. If not, that's all right. If you're not doing repair, treat injuries the other way to go. But persuade is important. We're going to max that out for the skill part of this uh, build. So we have a few choices. We could get Master Speed, Master Valor. I prefer Stasis Field. So this way we could crowd control living beings. This is real useful, That's definitely if you're grinding on Tanduin, which I have been during the course of leveling up. And believe me, they'll hold those suckers into place most of the uh, time. So let's keep on going. Now we're at the last five levels before hitting the cap. So at this time, we're going to go ahead and level up our Jedi Guardian to guest at the level nine. Every level is a four. We get our attribute point. So we're doing strength, everything in the strength. 
Put your points in Persuade if you can. For your secondary skill, if you're going that path, not the Repair path, treat Injury. So Persuade is very important. We're going to definitely cap out Persuade with this build. Now we're going to go ahead and pick a feat again. And the feat I'm going to go ahead and pick at this time is Implants Level 3. So now we'll be able to use the best implants in the entire game. Yeah, we're going to cheat a little bit with that. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, pick Master Valor. So now it will be 5 ability points. Uh, immunity to poison plus other things as well. So we'll definitely select that one. Yeah, we're going to max out that. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, do that. Let's go ahead and make sure everything's right. Again, Master Valor. And there you go. Now we're, uh, you guessed it, Jedi Guardian level 10. So after this, it's just three more levels. And that's it for the Jedi Guardian. Skills. Sorry, no feats. It happens from time to time. Persuade. So we have 20 Persuade. We're getting close to the cap. So 23 is the natural cap for Persuade. You have Charisma. You get some modifiers to boost that up. Force powers, I'm going to go ahead and do master speed, so it'll be much more longer. Movements, double speed, defense is up, and other factors as well. And I forgot, Master Valor, it affects everyone. And there you go. So let's uh, go ahead and set that, and there. So now we're uh, Jedi Guardian level 11, so things are looking up. We're mastering crowd control. Enemies are get dying very quickly. We're a prowess. We're powerful. Persuade. If you can repair, if not, treat injury if you're not doing the HK-47 repair route. So our next stop is we're going to do is disable droid. We're going to finish the droid crowd control line. Because we want to get to destroy droid because destroy droid is OP. It is used on a certain world big time. <laughs> and uh, there you uh, go. Now we're at Jedi Guardian level 12, character level 19. We're getting close to that cap, everyone. That's a good thing just feel good about it so there you go we're doing skills persuade there you go repair unfortunately since I picked the 10 intelligence repair will be uh, at 11 now if you uh, did 12 it'll be a bump, we'll bump up to 12 since it'll be 11 plus 1 thanks to the modifier other items will get you to 17 now we're picking feats so we're gonna go ahead and pick the uh, you uh, guess it besides game master jump uh, we get ourselves uh, defense as well, it's plus six defense. Master jumps up uh, more t uh, attack uh, to hit, and yeah, a couple of that with sneak attack. It's uh, broken. You saw at the very beginning. So what we're doing is toughness. So every uh, level retroactively, and this level point on, you get one extra vitality point. Our uh, hit or I say hit points will go up there, and we're gonna do is destroy droid as well. Yeah, we got the destroy droid line. That is uh, good. So we'll keep it there. Uh, there you go. So now we'll crowd control droids, or we could definitely wreck them big time. And there you have it. So let's uh, go ahead and get to level 13 next, aka level 20 cap. Now we're going to level up our character, character level 20, Jedi Guardian to 13, that'll make it 20. So let's go ahead and do ability, I should say attribute points. So we're doing 19. There you go. As for skills, we're going to do is persuade. You can't do repair. Now, if you're doing treat injury, you get a lot more uh, points than that. So we'll put treat injury since I'm doing HK-47 path on repairing that uh, evil robot or droid. Yeah, we'll uh, get that up there to eight. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, pick our uh, improved toughness. So now we get ourselves another, uh, I should say, uh, subtract uh, two points from any damage. We still retain our plus one vitality per level, which is uh, great as for powers. We're going to go ahead and do is throw lightsaber. You could do other ones to buff yourself up. I prefer throw lightsaber in case I need to uh, go ahead and just chuck it. There's one or two encounters in this game that will actually will uh, use that. I'm not spoiling uh, when you use it, but still, that's about it. So that's it from level 2 to 20 character level. Our next part of this uh, build video is suggested party members. I'm going to go ahead and go over each of the characters. Basila, she's very good, definitely at the start. She's good for crowd control until you get Jolie. Candorus is all right, but he's more suited for a Jedi Consort or the uh, other one, the Sentinel. As for Karth, he's uh, good at the start, good for your meat shield until you get to Dantooine. HK-47 is more suited for a dark side playthrough, but if you like HK-47, that is fine. Jolie's great. Use Jolie because he's a Jedi Consort 
and uh, he could use force powers to crowd control. If you want a little bit more of a uh, punch, uh, Juani, yeah, that's the cat lady. She's good for that. You'll have less force options, but she'll uh, freeze them into place. Mission's very good. You want two sneak attackers, that's the way to go. The uh, little droid, yeah, it's fine. So you can use them in certain situations to open locks, computer hack and such. Big Z is all right, but for Jedi Guardian, there's better party members out there. I did use Big Z early on. He's great for that. That's about it for party members. It's time for some gear advice. Now, before I actually go over each piece of equipment and lightsaber crystals, I'm mainly focusing on light side action and choices that will get you these gear. Not any dark side actions and such because, yeah, you'll uh, be a little bit weaker since you're uh, going for a light side character. Yeah, so no high level bounty hunting stuff at all. No killing anyone for anything else of the matter that gives you dark side points too. Yeah, definitely a good idea to do some side quests, especially the cat uh, lady one on your team because later on NPC will open up a very powerful shop. I will definitely list the uh, Yarvin Moon one. Yeah, there's some good stuff out of it too. You gotta save a lot of credits. Go hunt on Tanaween for uh, credits by farming the uh, same type of creatures I've been farming to level up since they also do some good drops as well. Okay, let's go over the gear first of all and here we go on this. Let's do go over the implants. Event, a clarity implant. This is a plus five dexterity one. Location, Yarvin Station after the fifth star map. That's that Rodanian merchant. Good idea to play 10 rounds of Pazak against him. In other words, get 10 wins against him. You get a discount to buy that. If you cannot get this or you don't have the cash, uh, the uh, Gordulian Reaction System, that's a plus four dexterity version. Uh, this location, Micah Dorn on Cor uh, Corban sells this. That's that secret merchant. You can't get either of these merchants. Uh, settle for a lower dexterity or constitution one. Now, headgear, circlet of Sarish, plus five wisdom. This is on the Wookiee planet Kadish. Very powerful headgear for light Jedi. You'll use it through the entire game once you get it. Uh, if not, Vert Pine headband, plus three will saves, plus two awareness skill. This is sold on various planets below. So you can't get that one above, get this one. Let's go over the next set of equipment. It is time to go over the gauntlets, aka hands. Dominator gauntlets, plus five strength gauntlets. This is sold by the same NPC that sells you the plus four dexterity implants. That's on Corban. Uh, Duke Giuliani's side quest completing it. And then uh, what happens is there's a special NPC there. We'll uh, point you to the right direction. If you cannot get to that shop, sell for plus one or plus two strength gauntlets. Now for arms, aka shields, vert pine prototype shields. This will give you energy, sonic, cold, heat resistance, damage type by 120. After 120 damage, it goes bye bye. Now this is sold, if I remember correctly, I didn't list it, but I'm listing it now. Yarvin Station. That's the fifth star map. So let's move on to the next set of equipment. Let's go over the belts. So the C and S strength enhancer belt. That's a plus two strength belt and gives you. Plus two all saving throws, fortitude, reflex, and will. Get this on Dan Wee before this fourth star map. So complete the third star map. Make sure you save enough credits. Go and Tatooine if you need to grind for items to sell at Yarvin Station or to buy this. Don't start the fourth star map until you get this item. Now for body, I'm going to list two endgame light side robes. I'm not spoiling this one, but it's one of the best. You know when it happens. That's all I'm going to give you a hint on. Now, this uh, other one this is a good alternative. Carry me through the game once I did get it. Quell Dorma Rose plus two Wisdom Robes. It'll give you. Now, if you cannot get these robes at all, sell for the Jedi Master Robes as uh, well. So, that's about it for gear. Let's talk about lightsaber crystals. Please note, this is mainly focusing on the light side of four. So, here we go. Umpari plus three attack, one through eight. Energy damage, location, end game. You know when you get this. So Lori, plus three attack, light side only. You get one through eight damage versus dark side. Uh, physical piercing as uh, well. That's what the damage type it is. Location, Korriban. Now uh, Kyrat, Dragon Pearl, plus two attack and energy damage. Location on Tatooine on for one. Yeah, you can only get one on the light side. Getting the second one requires a dark side action. You don't want to do that. So let's move on. Here's the last of the crystals, Opala. 
I might have pronounced the name, sorry about that. Three energy damage and massive critical is two to 12 when you do a critical hit. Location, Tanawin and Korriban. Now let's talk about the mineral crystals, Heart of the Guardian. Results are different for each crystals combined. So if you combine, say, the uh, other two I mentioned previously or something like that, different results. Location, Yarvin after the fifth star map. Your lightsaber will look different. This one you should definitely use for your offhand. Mantle of the Force, best one in the game for the middle crystal. Again, results are different. Location, same. Yarvin after the fifth star map. Just remember to experiment, mix and match, which you feel are the best results. Make sure your main hand gets the best one. And then the second best one is your offhand. So what we're going to talk about next is combat test. Normally I do jump in the combat, but if you use stems, force powers, and if you max out your Jedi character, in this case I'm at the 4th star map, you have over 30 strength. Now my uh, damage to main hand is 17 to 36. That's before the uh, middle lightsaber crystals and the uh, off hand is 18 to 28. So let's uh, go ahead and demonstrate the combat test. Now if you cannot do force jump, as always, use Master Valor and um, if you need to, definitely want to use force speed so this way you do a lot more uh, damage that way so we're gonna buff up now we're at the sith base we're gonna have a good time so let's go ahead and uh, freeze them they poison me that's all right i can take care of them just while i watch them die big time see one hit they're almost dead I almost one shot them since i did freeze them sneak attack will come into play uh, another hit they'll be uh, gone just uh, one more we're gonna go ahead and freeze that sucker and yeah i'm soling them basically i told the other two to stay back and uh, one hit should do it, and there you uh, go. And that's the combat demonstration. If you can force jump, take advantage of it. If not, just do like I did, crowd control, then kill them. Here's some final advice before I end this video guide. When you start out, attack your foes from behind. Use your other party members as tanks. Use concussion grenades when you start out as well. So this way you freeze them, you attack them in any direction. And once you become a Jedi, focus on crowd controlling your enemies if you can. Your party members could do that as well. Use Valor, Night Speed if you need to buff up. If you have a chance to use your Force Jump, abuse that as uh, well too. Listen to my advice on gear and lightsabers so you do a lot of damage. This will carry you through any difficulty in the game. This is it for my Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 1, Light Side, Level 7 Scoundrel, and Level 13 Jedi Guardian build video. This is Lorefent signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more guides and builds just like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner of the screen or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Have a great day or night and may the force be with you. Ha! <laughs>